Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Tsuki and we are busy playing RimWorld. So, in the last episode the game threw everything it had at us and didn't get very far. Now I probably shouldn't get very cocky because this game at any moment in time can decide to ruin my shit. We just have to be prepared for all eventualities, I guess. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, Legion became an old man, <laughs> officially. Um, and other than that, our aims right now is just researching the, the ship, the shipbuilding basics. We got a component assembly going now. And then after that, we'll start working on getting the various ship parts researched. Uh, there's still a few things that we have to look at that I haven't considered yet. No, optional extras. I mean, if you look at my people's moods, they're all fantastic across the board. So in my in my previous pr playthrough, I really had no reason like why I should have been relying on weed as a crutch so much. And in the previous episode, yeah, okay, but Granted, in the previous episode, it also got colder a lot. In this one, I'm perfectly fine in having like a single geothermal generator, and it's been it's been keeping our power absolutely constant. Um, besides that, I have a boom rat that's wandering around somewhere. Yeah, it's him, I believe. Um, I plan on keeping him in this area if some raiders show up and murder him, so be it. Um, however, if some traders show up, I'd like to sell him for a little bit of extra cash. Because why not? I think in today's episode, we are going to engage in some exploratory drilling. I'm not sure if the darkness has anything to do with the those fucking things spawning inside but i don't think it does or it shouldn't let's just get a bed in here while we're at it okay how's everybody doing by the way oh you have a bionic eye now that's right drew the guy with the dagger has a bionic eye yeah great hmm do we have a electric smithy? Yes. Maybe we can give him like a gladius. Make it out of, let's call it, like plasteel would obviously be the best, but let's just make it out of steel. Unhappy nudity. Legion needs some clothes. Yeah, I guess. There's an eclipse, which is fine. Let us... Don't think we have much in the way of cloth right now. Textiles. We've got various forms of leather, yeah. Which is fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, everybody's asleep. Yeah, I know we need better clothes. Um, a bodyguard named Estelle Glasses Fisher calls you from nearby. She's being chased by pirates. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. She's also young-ish. She is Silver's wife? What? No. I mean, he dislikes women. Uh, uh, I mean, whatever. Like, okay. If that makes you happy. I really want to make the party spot over here, rather. Let's get rid of that. I'm not sure how the game handles multiple party spots. Probably fine, I reckon. Uh, let's move this one over here to the north facing side. It's empty here now, so should be fine okay so you with the bionic eye there's a gladius now which you made yes so kindly replace that with your gladius 
Legion's making some clothes. There's some pants. Good to go. Silver is just cooking. That's all he ever does is cook. What shall we research next? Do I care about powered armor? I'll probably start looking into deep drilling. We're gonna need some, some materials. That one was awful. <laughs> it just gets burned immediately, like... We don't even hesitate. We've got so much food, I love it. Hmm. I like our little hospital, it looks so... so formal. We should just get some hospital beds next. But those are kind of expensive. Look at that research speed, holy crap. And boom, they're done. We do need the scanner. It's obviously not gonna be active all the time. Checking out the vents and stuff. Hmm. Okay, are we done with the clothes now? Okay, you have the Arctic Fox skin pants. Maybe we should just make... Yeah, okay, but he's still working on those. Okay, that's fine. Run out of... You need, like, the same amounts of a specific type of cloth, I believe. I love how how the game like uh, trans transcends or just converts or moves on I don't know English uh, basically from depending on food to like right now we need a lot more cotton and like heel root to because we're at that point where we just want to improve like our basic quality of life I guess which is fine no complaints but we absolutely probably should add like a third cotton growing area. Why do you even need like this for this royal bed? Wooden gold. All right. How are you doing with your asthma? Poor dog. Dog thing. A lot of people just standing around. We don't have enough cloth. So I'm going to ask you to remove this floor. Alright. And then get a nice fat. Like This is 5. So 1 and 5. So 11 by 7 growing area. Eleven by seven, and then we set this to cotton. I'd rather have too much cotton, so just so my people can keep busy. Even if you know everybody has more than enough clothes, I'm probably just gonna have them pump out clothes more and more and more for the sake of practicing as well. Let's just build this all the way to the mountain. Okay. What the hell is this? No idea. I remember putting that there for a reason, but I forgot. Off to bed, again.
We can't make medicine because we don't have cloth. We can't finish this area because we don't have cloth. We can't make more clothes because we don't have cloth. So, catch 22 really. And then I really want to start engaging in some exploratory digging as well. So basically, if you don't have much to do, a manhunter pack of what? Boomalope. Oh, wonderful. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Just means nobody is to leave. As per usual. Okay, Havoc. Go and close that door. And then nobody leaves again. Where is everybody? You're inside, 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 you're inside. And my crazy dog should probably also be inside. I hope. Where's Manol? Okay, ah, there you go. In the fridge, busy eating my Ibex meat. All right. What? They sound like... I don't know. Weird. Jeez. Like a remix. All right, exploratory digging, phase one. Let's get 40 tiles in. Good, we have some cloth coming in, finally. <laughs> HR can't make up his mind. Going back and forth and back and forth. Oh god, beavers! Which I am also okay with. I'll set them up for hunting. Even though we can't actually go out to go and hunt them because of these assholes. Okay. So, seeing as we have some more cloth, uh, we can make some more medical kits and so on and so forth. As soon as we have 20 of these, I'll make my first medical bed. So, is this done? Oops. Okay, t-shirt is done. So, just jackets. This is an ongoing project. Good, so pretty uneventful so far, which I mean, I don't mind. Have all the boomalope gone to sleep? Are they quiet now? Still kind of manhunting, but... I mean, I guess, who's now unhappy? Silver. Mm, this is probably too broken, yes. Unfortunately. So yeah, we're gonna have to make a lot more pants. Unfortunately. Hey, we have a shipment of medical roots coming in. Thank you, carrots. For becoming the herbalist we needed. I still hear crazy things. Oh, they're just... The crazy is leaving. Bulk Goods Trader. Alright, come on in. Mm, I think most of the... Yeah, even that one's leaving. Good. Thank you for that. Alright, so... Uh, this is for traveling around the map, which is something uh, I, I, I can't really exploit right now. 
usually um like when they they fill out the features of the map a little bit more you can actually go and raid other people's bases you can do that right now but their bases are all just these prefabs basically it's like a little room with a bunch of people standing around there's no actual like like bases so there isn't a lot you'll just go and shoot everybody and steal there's no like you don't have to infiltrate anything or they don't have much in the way of defenses and they just have like it's uh, it's like just basically a placeholder is what i'm saying uh yeah so these are really expensive though maybe i will get mm, I really need any of these or these or these I'll just no but I'm never going to brew or refine let's get ugh, I don't know multi barrel weapon sure Those beavers are here somewhere, seeing as there's no trees anywhere. Okay. Um, let's just get carrots to quickly... Where's these traders? There they are. Go trade. Okay. Now I can trade away the boom rat. Yay! Get some money and get rid of a nuisance at the same time. We have a lot of stuff. Not enough of any single component to do anything useful with it. So I'll sell the leftover leather and skin. No, not the herbal medicine. We still need a lot more plasteel. So I'm going to take whatever they have. We don't need sandstone. We have limestone and granite. Good. These low quality stuff will sell. And we'll keep the gold because we need it. Okay, they've got a rooster. What happened to my voice? They've got a male and a female boar. But again, I, I don't have much in the way of experience with like uh, uh, farming. So I haven't tried it yet off camera. Maybe I should. All right, I'll just take all of that as well. Good. Thank you. Damn, Legion. Just damn. Damn. Jeez. Get better at shooting. Thank you. Are there beavers down? Yeah, there are. No wonder. I'm just gonna save because at any time one of those can just go insane because you know they miss hit the wrong thing ah we have some more medicine coming in almost hit cloth that's not cloth jeez this is really filling up goodbye friends can I ask you to prioritize butchering? And he's naked because nobody's making clothes. Damn. That's what happens if you wound something and never fix it yeah i know silver is unhappily nude but there's some excellent pants i don't see i'm going to fetch it and saying to like force wear something means that they won't automatically go take it off if it's necessary like if the thing falls be below 50 percent then ah there he went and put on some clothes thank you We still have, yeah, we still have more making pants. Shoddy. Amazing. Just go and burn it immediately. 
we need like way more cloth. At least our floor is done now. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? I wish there was an upgrade to the stove, like a mass fab, like, you know this, the, the giant stoves that they have at some restaurants where you can cook like 60 meals at a time. I don't understand like anyway how a person can only like pay attention to a single meal. There's like four plates there. That's, that's, you can cook four things. I can cook four things. I can probably cook a lot more things. The most of, most things I've ever cooked was... Uh, yeah, three things. Just because there wasn't any more like plates available. It was two omelets and the last one was I was frying up some bacon. Where was the compact machinery? Awesome. That's just what I was looking for. It's apparently winter, but the temperature inside is still fine. We don't have debuffs to these. Okay. Anything under production that's new? Yeah, I know we have the component assembly, but it costs 20 components to make. Um, and then I think... it, Yeah, it makes it from simpler metals, but... I think it needs like 700 metal or something stupid for like one component. I am... Um, don't we have... Is that under MISC? Yes, ground penetrating scanner. Alright. I should probably like pop down a... Like a workbench or two. I can't move this, can I? Nope. That is unfortunate. Also okay, I guess. Like having it here will... Where do I want it more? Is there a way? No, there is no way to get it connected to all four. Having it like here... Has it connected to those four? Have it connected here? Has it connected to three? Interesting. Ah, this is the highest distribution. Good idea. All right, thank you. So we have some components now. I'll place the ground penetrating scanner over here. And then just turn it off when we're done scouting out what's where. I mean, there really is no need for us to even use this yet. This guy's carrying like 30 steel at a time. Four years later. Nope, he's going to bed. Good night. Oh, and it's done. Okay, so if we click on you, we can see what is where, but we can't actually see what it is. That is very unfortunate. Yeah, we've got something like right over here. Ah, oh, right over here. That's that's very like ironic. I don't know, not not ironic quite, but convenient. That's the word I was looking for. So, let us use our nice little uh, planning tool and uh, just map this out. So now we know it's in that area. Good, thank you. I will not reconnect, but just turn you off. Go flick. Somebody go flick. Or whatever, go to bed. Flicking is not necessary. 
So now, um, just to show you guys how, th I'm not sure this is anything useful. I'm going to deconstruct that so we can get access to this area, and then I'm going to build a... Mm, an herb world urchin. No thanks. 16 years old, jeez. No thanks. All right. So basically how this works is a deep miner will be able to mine out nine blocks that is surrounding it basically. So underneath it and then in the surrounding areas. So if I go and I build a deep drill over here, you can see the little area that is projecting over. I have no idea exactly what I'll find there. But we'll see. Also not sure you can move it. Cargo pods. Oh hey, useful. It's nice to have. Yeah. That's very sim silly, like you can't move a drill. Why? So after I've done mining this stuff, I have to go and deconstruct it. That's so dumb. Whatever. Ooh, we have a bunch of these now. Ah, what? And then there's steel below. Ugh. Which is like a waste, in my opinion. Now is the quickest party ever. Now there's still a lot of exploration to do. How many? Oh, we have no. We have none. We have zero. Somebody go dig those out. Thank you. And leave it there. So yeah, basically someone's just going to go stand there and then go brrrr, and then, you know, a chunk of one of those will appear and they'll go put it down and go back to it over and over and over. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way of knowing what what one of those are. And it's so silly. Like, you have to keep the scanner on to know where things are. Why can't you just, like, okay, I scanned the ground. I now have a map. Thank you. Goodbye. Turn me off. No. Okay, so, yeah. This is going to run to, like, 100%, uh, obviously. Excuse me. And then immediately everything's going to fail because the game decided, hey. It's been a while since you've done anything. So, back to it. Oh. I guess you have to restart. Wonderful. So at 100%, he's going to get a little lump. And then it's going to lay right there. And that's it. That's all it works. That's until everything surrounding it is done and then there's nothing left to do. Yeah. yeah. If it was something more useful, like... I don't know. What could be more useful? Gold or even like... Uh, plasteel. But no, it's, it's mostly just steel, I believe. Oh, uh, research, yes. Let us... Okay, so with all of that out of the way now, let's start getting the big guys. Oh, we need the Crypto Sleep Gasket first. Go, 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 go. Where should we dig next? A rare thrombos. Its horns are very rare and more expensive, most expensive. You can actually tame this, but I, I've i never taken the risk. And we don't have an animal specialist either. Silver, but like, I don't think he even likes animals. Because it's been a hundred years and like Wacky is still not even touched. What? Okay. Why treating? Mr. Asthma, yeah. Go treat Wacky when you wake up. 
Oh, poor wacky. There you go. Good, good popper. Okay, so now we have a lot of those. Let us uninstall this. And then let's make our first medical bed. Hospital bed. Yes. That's the ICU. Good. It's shoddy. Because whoever made it was probably a moron. Okay, next up, another hospital bed. Hopefully the person that works on it this time is slightly more competent. Drew? Come on, prove yourself. Yeah, it's good. Good, see? Good. 116%. Uh, I mean, it doesn't do anything that's 116 and 17%. 116 so this one only sh is shitty at being like rest rest effectiveness where this one is amazing apparently you sleep really well all right there's no more materials to make uh... woof, woof. there's like a lot of dead things not sure why. Let's disassemble that for more materials. And then there's still that one little blocky, which I'll also get. That little, little alpha block. And then I think, seeing as we made this indentation there, we might as well continue forward not a not a lot just 20 uh, maybe 20 in this direction as well and then from here on uh, like 20 as well that'll give them something to do for a while yeah which let me just check my timer here yeah ah uh, that's about it I am going to put a cut in here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this episode, please click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you like my content in general, please consider subscribing. And tell your friends about how I... I don't know. Not a lot happened. <laughs> how I deny Boom Rat's access to my base. Like the champion I am. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you have anything to say, as usual, leave a comment down below. I'll get to them. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.